children in this video we are going to learn about matter and its composition we see many things around us whether they are living or non living things all things are made up of matter take a look yeah let's do a small activity it's an observation activity take a look at all these materials which are composed of matter yeah all these materials i say that these materials are all composed of matter why do we call these materials as matter there must be something in common amongst these materials why they are called as matter this book pen water the gum in a the gum and the oil in that box the key the box all these are called as matter all these things have the following properties of matter why they are called as matter because of the following properties they can be perceived by our senses yes it occupies space yes see you can easily say that they occupy space this liquid that is water occupies space this gum is also occupying space it occupies space and it also has mass now let me just show you i have inflated a cover and filled up with air do you all yeah this is the cover which i have blown air into it it is inflated is air also a matter let's see does it occupy space yes yes it occupies space you can see the air also occupies space does it has mass when i put this on a weighing scale i get some or the other weighing numbers right this clearly shows that air also occupies space and it has mass now you can pause for a while okay and i want you to complete this task in your class work or if you want to complete the task at the end and you want to continue with the video choice is yours you can define matter right you can also list the properties of matter just now we were discussing about matter has mass what is this mass mass is nothing but the quantity of matter in a body is called its mass or we can also define it as the amount of matter present in any object is called its mass matter occupies space we also said that matter occupies space okay to have a better understanding of this you can do a small activity demonstrate that air is matter okay and then you can write why air is called a matter hello okay yeah let's move on with our next discussion what is matter made up of that is nothing but composition of matter to understand what is matter made up of we need to do another small activity the activity is nothing but breaking up of matter into its tiniest part the composition of matter let us do this activity breaking up of matter into tiniest part i take a small piece of copper wire i cut it down i get a smaller size copper wire isn't it right 
like this i again cut it down still small size the size goes on decreasing as i go on cut it down and i finally reach to a stage where that part is very very tiny it is from the copper only i am getting it and it's very tiny and this tiny particle is called as atom since it is obtained from copper i call it as an atom of copper similarly i take another matter and i wanted to study what is that matter made up of i have taken sugar crystal i pound it when i pound it it breaks down into smaller pieces i take one smaller piece go on still continue to break it down into a very very tiniest part where i am not able to see the particle but still it possesses all the properties of that sugar crystal the very tiny particle of sugar is called as this tiny particle is called as molecule of sugar now let us compare these tiniest part what we got it from one matter is copper and the other matter was moly um, sugar crystal right this atom if further broken cannot be simplified into simplest forms but the molecule of sugar can be any molecule of matter can be still further broken down into its respective atoms that's why we say that atoms combine to form molecules okay so on breaking down the further molecule of sugar we get an atom of carbon atom of hydrogen and atom of oxygen thus we can say that matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms which are the building blocks of matter yeah you can have a task here just now we were discussing how to define a matter what does matter made up what is matter made up of now let us discuss what do particles of matter possess what do these particles of matter possess every matter is made up of some or the other tiny particles either atoms or molecules so what are these particles do possess they have spaces among themselves the particles of matter have spaces among themselves what do we call them the intermolecular spaces yes they also attract each other with force of attraction the, this force of attraction only in all the matter it keeps the particles together and what do you call this force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction they the particles of matter also possess or they are in a state of random motion in physics if any object is moving we say it possesses kinetic energy so in other terms we can say the particles of matter possesses kinetic energy there are many things on this planet or el or or else you can also say that there are many things in this universe and all things are made up of matter that means many materials are present on this earth so there is a need to classify matter let us look into the classification of matter there are two ways of classifying matter one is based on physical state it is classified as solid liquid and gas and the other way is based on chemical constitution this is further divided into element compound and mixtures this chemical constitution of matter and its classification is our next study next lesson 
we will be discussing about this in detail okay can you take this task give the classification of matter we have learned a lot about properties of matter in our previous classes that is from classes third to sixth we have done a lot about properties of matter i want you to complete this table which talks about the properties of solid liquids and gases uh, the properties there are i have listed out 10 properties uh, for your convenience i would like to read mass shape volume arrangement of particles intermolecular force of attraction, intermolecular space, flow or fluidity, compressibility, rigidity and kinetic energy. You can complete the properties of solid, liquid and gases based on these 10 properties. Okay children, I would also like to ask you to do this activity. Okay, it's a very simple activity. You can try out for yourself. Uh, you would you will be learning the intermolecular spaces of matter to know what is this intermolecular spaces of matter yeah just do this activity for which you require yeah just glance at the method what to be done for this activity I have written down and at the end after conducting the activity i want you to reason out okay reason out for the question whether the volume increases or not that is if volume increases if yes then give your reason if there is no increase in volume give your reason and i want you to clearly make a note of this Yes, all are graded task children. All the best. Thank you.